let's get into today's exercises. So the first one I'm going to show you is called a half moon, or I like to call them half moons. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold your stick at the bottom of your shaft, and the motion that you're going to do is you're going to put your stick out like this, and first you're going to start off with small half moons, which will look like this. Then you'll move to medium, which will be your knee to your shoulder, just like this. And then high, which will be your toes to your head, just like this. Now from a side angle, it's going to look like this. So you're going to have small, medium, and high. Now you're going to want to make sure to really work those wrist muscles. So you're going to want to keep your arms tight to your body while you're doing this. And it'll look something like this when you have a ball in your stick. And from a side view, it'll look like this again. Let's move on to our next exercise. The second exercise I'm gonna show you is called a wrist pop. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold your stick again at the bottom of your shaft. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pop the ball up and catch it. Now with this, you wanna make sure that both your feet are stuck to the ground where you are. You don't want them to move and you don't wanna to have to take a step in order to catch the ball either. So put the ball in your stick. And again, you're just gonna to wanna to pop it up with your wrist, just like this. Start small and work your way up. Notice how my feet are not moving. I can catch it in the same spot. Work your way up, throwing it big and throwing it way up high. Again, make sure to do everything left-handed in order to stay equal. Side view, it'll look like this. Let's see you try. Let's move on to our stick trick of the week. So I like to call these roundabouts, but you can come up with a creative name on your own too as well. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the ball, you're gonna pop it up in the air. While it's in the air, you're gonna take your shaft and you're gonna go over and under to catch the ball again. So it's gonna look a little something like this. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's wrist strengthening exercises, as well as learned a new stick trick that you can practice at home. Hope you guys have a great week and we'll see you next week.